As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Joy in humble service. Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Acts 9, verse 6. It matters not what our position may be or how limited our capabilities. We have a work to do for the Master. Our graces are developed and matured by exercise. With the truth of God burning in the soul, we cannot be idle. The happiness we shall experience in doing will compensate even in this life for every effort. Those only who have experienced happiness resulting from self-denying effort in the service of Christ can speak of the matter understandingly. It is indeed joy so pure, so deep, that language cannot express it. Through life's transient day, there is a special work marked out for you. It may be of the lowliest kind, it may be such as show the loftiest powers display. But none besides yourself your work can do. What will thou have me to do? With single eye to your Redeemer's glory, work for Him. Illumed every moment from on high, strive in each action God to glorify, nor let one thought of self's life's radiance dim. We may have Christ with us while engaged in our daily avocations. Wherever we are and whenever we are engaged, we may be indeed elevated because we are united to Christ. We may take up our humble life's duties, ennobled by and sanctified through the assurance of the love of God. Working from principle and the humblest calling invests it with dignity. The consciousness that we are indeed the servants of Christ will give a higher tone of character to our everyday duties. Ever cheerful, patient, forbearing, and gentle. If you are seen to be firm in principle, fearless in duty, zealous in seeking to exemplify Christ in your daily work, yet humble, lowly, gentle, and tender, patient and forgiving, ready to suffer and to forgive injuries, you will be a living epistle known and read of all men.
pas again. No, never pas again. What? Never pas again. Again, what? Never part again. No.